What's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Leggy here representing Team JVS back here to give you guys a brand new season three review. It's not a spoiler, no spoilers at all, other than what you've seen in the actual trailers for Cobra Kai season three. So, as we know from the last season, if you don't know, go ahead and cover your ears and go and watch the second season. But the second season ended with a all out brawl at the school that ended in Miguel critically injured and in the hospital like certifiably paralyzed and, and not even able to move whatsoever not even we didn't know what happened and the first episode too good and to bad it basically is a recounting and a recap of everything that kind of happened i didn't like the first episode personally because it kind of didn't there wasn't any kind of progression of things to come but they started to do things that i didn't expect like flashbacks of things I never would have thought. And one of the things in the trailers that we first saw, Chosen and Kamiko back. If you've seen The Karate Kid 2, you would know who these characters are because they are very pivotal to Daniel Russo. And I'm going to tell you, the third season does not disappoint. I can't reveal anything. All I'm going to say is that whatever your expectations is of where things could go, good or bad, just let them out the door because you will not predict the way things go with any character. Every character is susceptible to change. Every character is susceptible to progression. Um, and it's not as though they're just forgetting all the rivalry, forgetting all the bad blood, all the bad blood, all the trauma from everything, even the kids, like the trauma that they befall from the fights, from the situations, from the, the uh, romantic relationships. All those tragedies and all that trauma does go to a bowling point for everybody. But specifically for Johnny and to Danny, they have to reconcile what they've done, take ownership of it. And the last time we saw uh, Johnny, you know, he was basically drinking and throwing himself away because he couldn't handle it. And Danny, basically, as a hothead, always never just accepting his own fault and things having to go and deal with that as well. And that's where it's some interesting things that happen when it comes to Johnny and of course with Chosen. And I mean, if you know what happened with you know, <laughs> the Karate Kid 2, you know the bad blood there. But there are so many deep cuts. There are so many surprises. And again, these flashbacks that I'm referring to, I can't talk about them, but they are pivotal to the entirety of the series. I, I really wish I could go into them but it's, it's, it's unmissable. In terms of the uh, choreography and the fights, I think they do a really good job. I think the going to different locations, uh, like Okinawa and like different parts of the location for the valley, um, I think it's kind of a fish out of water kind of situation. But even more than that, I feel like there's this impending feeling of danger and detriment for the, the souls of these children because they're not stopping. It's not as though like a parent's gonna tell them to do this and they're gonna stop like no these kids not only can take care of themselves they can hurt people and so it all boils down to what are you gonna do who is right who's wrong is there any lines of black and white but what is really gonna go down and i think that i love the way that they carry out all these kids i know i'm being very vague i think that the story arc of trying to see what's gonna happen to miguel is pretty thought-provoking and pretty emotional very hard to watch in certain stages um, I think definitely when it comes to the character Sam, like for good or bad, she does go through an evolutionary process. When you think about Robbie and what he's really going through, very, again, it's very hard to actually watch, but the progression of it is very enthralling and I think you, it hasn't missed a beat. I personally feel like they did a great job with this third season and you're not going to want to miss it. Uh, 9.5 or 9 out of 10 for me easily. Definitely go and check out season three of Cobra Kai on January 1st. You will not be disappointed. Check out our review for every single episode. I have like two minute reviews for every single episode. I will be dropping on that day, probably right start at seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, keep it locked. JVS Wingo stop. Go check it out. <laughs> Y'all in for it. Oh my gosh, I wish I could say some stuff. Let me know if you want me to do a spoiler review, please.